Hi everyone, I've been asked to do this addition polymerization um, video and I'm really sorry but I need to get it done before Thursday as your exam is just a few days away and so it's just going to have to be a talk through on the iPad. So just remember that when you're doing addition polymerization what you're doing is you're forming polymers and these are effectively plastics. Now you need to learn these definitions and they're all much of a muchness and they all link together. So a polymer is a large molecule formed from many small subunits which we call monomers. Therefore a monomer is a small molecule that joins together to form a polymer and then polymerization is simply the reaction where many small molecules, monomers, join together to form a large molecule which is a polymer. Now what we're going to be doing here is getting alkenes, remember these are unsaturated which means they have a double carbon bond and we're just going to be joining lots of alkenes together to form the polymer. The reason why we use alkenes is because they have the double bond and that means that that double bond can break and they can join to another alkene. And we're going to look at examples right now. The three you need to know about are ethene, which is polythene, propene, polypropene, and I'm going to mention polychloroethene, but for most of you that won't really be relevant. So let's start by looking at ethene. Remember, like I said, it's unsaturated. Make sure that your carbon bonds, it doesn't matter what you're doing, that they only ever form four bonds. And remember that, oop, stop Hazel. And remember that here counts as a bond, that's a bond, there's a bond, there's a bond, so that's four altogether. So I've drawn ethene, and now I'm going to show you how you can draw the equation to show the formation of polythene. So you're going to break that double bond, and then elongate two bonds coming out of it to show a large molecule stretching onwards, add brackets, and then fill in the hydrogen. So you're just copying it exactly across because we don't know how many ethene or polythenes we have, you're just going to write N to represent any number of monomers forming this polythene. Now, they may ask you some uses, and you can just say here that polythene is used for plastic bags and cling film. Let's look at another version, which is propene. Um, I'm actually going to draw propene like this, and you'll understand in a moment. Remember propene, because it's pro, has three carbons. There's only one double bond ever in these alkenes and then I'm going to draw the third carbon up here and I'm going to just write CH3 for ease, ease of drawing but this is exactly the same as this I'm just going to show you that quickly they're exactly the same molecules but it's just way easier to draw this polymerization as I've done it so let's get rid of what I just drew and we're going to go back to the poly we're going to go back to propene sorry which is here Break the double bond, elongate, fill in the rest of the molecule exactly as it was originally, add brackets and then put an N. Done. Now polypropene is a stronger plastic and it's used for things like crates or carpets or rope. Now let's have a look at chloroethene. The ethene obviously two carbons but the chloro tells us we've just got a chlorine rather than four hydrogens. Then I'm going to draw the arrow, break the double bond, elongate, gosh this is so weird the way I'm saying it, and then fill in, there you go, write your ends, and that is done, and we call that polychloroethene or PVC. PVC is used in underground pipes for carrying water, gas and sewage, how lovely. One other thing they may ask you to do is work out the monomer used to produce a particular polymer. So here's our polymer and all you need to do to work out the monomer is work out where it starts repeating itself again and that's actually here. There's one, there's another, there's another, another. So if they ask you how many effective monomers there are then there are three but if they ask you for the exact monomer from which it came all you need to do is reinsert that double bond and pick out one of the subunits, make sure that all the carbons have four bonds and there it is and we've actually got chloroethene there. I think that's everything I wanted to say. I'm going to attach some questions now and um, I hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe and like this video if you want more like it. Bye. This question is about polymers. The formation of polyethene can be represented as, what is the name of this type of reaction? Well, it is addition. So you need to put a tick in A. The reason why it's addition is because you're adding hydrogen atoms to this um, saturate, unsaturated compound, sorry, which was the alkene ethene. Ignore what I just said if that was really confusing. It's just addition, addition polymerization. Maybe you remember that term. Which of these is the correct description of a monomer? A molecule used to make a polymer. A molecule with only single bonds, that's irrelevant. An atom in a polymer, no, because an atom is literally just one tiny little atom or one 
tiny particle, I suppose, that's, again, horrible, <laughs> or a repeat unit in a polymer. It's quite tricky. For me, I'd be erring between A and D, but the answer is actually A. It's a molecule used to make a polymer. This compound is used to make a polymer. State the name of this compound. So let's count up all the carbons. One, two, three. So that means it's going to be pro, and it ends in ene because there's a double bond. So the answer here is propene. Draw the structure of the repeat units of the polymer formed from this compound. Right, what you need to do here then is break the double bond and then just draw it exactly as it was before and then extend some long bonds to the side as this is the repeat unit of the polymer that would be formed. This is part of the structure of another polymer. Draw the displayed formula of the monomer used to make this polymer. So let's work out where it started repeating itself and how many there are. Okay, this is one here, and there's another one there. And then just make sure, remember the monomer is now keen, so it needs a double bond. So just reinsert the double bond and make sure that each carbon has four bonds. And that is your answer. Many polymers do not biodegrade when they are thrown away. State the meaning of biodegrade. That means breaking down using bacteria or microorganisms. Ethane is used as a starting material to manufacture addition polymerization, addition polymers. It is first cracked to form ethene. Identify the fuel that also forms in this reaction. Right, you need to look at what is left over here and it's going to be hydrogen, so that's H2. Don't allow the fact that it's a fuel to confuse you. I mean, hydrogen is used as a fuel, but just look at the difference between the two molecular formulae. Ethane is described as saturated. What feature of an ethane molecule is responsible for this description? And it's because, make sure you include the word only, only single bonds between the carbon atoms. Bromine water can be used to show that hydrocarbon is ethene rather than ethane. Complete the equation to show the displayed formula of the product of the reaction between ethene and bromine. Because it's an alkene being added to bromine, you're going to be undergoing an addition reaction. So actually all that's going to happen here is that the bromine is going to add itself. So let's break that double bond, add the bromines, and then include all the hydrogens that were already part of ethane. ethene. And there you go. Which is the correct statement about this test? The colour of ethene is brown. Nope. The product of the reaction is a white precipitate. Uh, no, we're not talking about salts. The product of the reaction is colourless. Yes, because it goes from orange to colourless. The test involves the substitution reaction. No, I just told you it was an addition reaction. Alkenes can be polymerised. Part of the structure of polyethene can be represented as... The st this structure shows the atoms coming from two molecules of ethene. Draw, pa draw part of the structure of polypropene that shows the atoms coming from two molecules of propene. So use polythene as your guide, but just make sure that the new molecule you draw, draw has three carbons per each repeating subunit. And if that's confusing, just take a look at this for me. So draw that and then draw your third carbon for the fact that it is polypropene up here so it doesn't get in the way. Do this and then just do it again because there are two subunits. and then extend the line here. Perfect. The repeat units of another addition polymer can be represented as the following. Draw the structure of the monomer used to make this polymer. When you're drawing the monomer, make sure the monom monomer has a double carbon bond. So that's all I'm gonna do here is insert it and then just make sure that carbon therefore has four bonds. And there is your answer.